In this video, we will explain what is an additional cost, go through setting up an additional cost, then we will show you how to prorate an additional cost in purchase order. Additional costs are normally applied to items on receipt when that item has already been recorded as being received in the system. This procedure would be useful when the freight bill comes after the receipt has already been entered and or invoiced. Examples include freight charges or shipping and handling fees. To set up an additional cost in purchase order, you would navigate to PO Setup and then click on Additional Costs. Specify what this additional cost is going to be. In this example, we're going to call it Freight. Enter description for it. In this case, it will be Freight Charge. Please note that if you specify a vendor in this field, then only that vendor can apply that charge. So we recommend leaving this blank so that any vendor can apply this charge. If you specify the value of the additional cost, you need to determine whether it is to be prorated or not. If you choose no proration, this means that the cost will be expensed and that you must specify the general ledger expense account number for the cost and will not be added to the cost of the item. If you choose to prorate, you have four options to prorate by quantity, cost, weight, manually. To prorate by quantity means the additional cost will be distributed or allocated equally to the items you purchase based on the quantity. Prorating by cost means the additional cost will be allocated or prorated to the items purchased on the purchase order based on the cost of the individual items. To prorate by weight means the additional cost will be allocated or prorated to the items purchased based on the item weight on the detail line of the receipt. Prorating manually means you will need to manually calculate the proration amount and assign it to the items. Now let us apply an additional cost. First, we will receive 10 fluorescent lamps into location 6 by going to PO Transactions and clicking on Receipt Entry. Each lamp will cost $20. So the total value of this receipt will be We then receive an invoice from FedEx charging us a $100 freight charge for the fluorescent lamps that we want to prorate this additional cost to those items on the receipt. To prorate that additional cost, go to Purchase Orders and click on Invoice Entry. Make sure that you select the vendor number before the receipt number. In our case, the vendor is FedEx. If you input the receipt number first, you will not be able to apply that additional cost. And then we will navigate to the receipt number we had just inputted. In the invoice total field, type in $100. Next, we will go to the Additional Cost tab and select the appropriate additional cost. In our example, it will be freight. 
Even though we set up proration method during setup, we can change it here. If you do select a proration method, you also need to select a reproration method in case the item is returned. These options are leave, prorate, or expense. If selecting leave, this means you want to leave the additional cost that was allocated to the items being returned with the item number. This option will take the additional cost and apply it to any other items that exist. If there are none, then this option will result in a negative cost for the item. Prorate means you want to prorate the cost of the items being returned across to the other items that were on the original receipt. If there were none, then it will leave the additional cost of the item number being returned. Expense means you want to assign the prorated amount of the items being returned directly to a general ledger expense account. Before you post the invoice, make sure that the additional cost tab equals to what you inputted in the invoice total field. If not, you will see the following error. Once everything has been inputted correctly, we will post the invoice, then run day end processing. When we go into location details of that item, we can see that the cost has been prorated. And that is how you add an additional cost in purchase order.